We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, Jesse here. Welcome to what I'm calling the Phantom Manus. Today's May the 1st, so may the 1st be with you. Um, every day, almost every day, I've got a few little slots there to fill. Um, we're going to be looking at something Phantom Menace related for the entire month of May to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, nostalgia related to this film for me growing up. I was about 11 or 12 when, when The Phantom Menace came out in 1999, so I was able to grow up with the prequels, but also still had that early um, introduction to the original trilogy through the, through the mid-90s, so... I feel like I got the best of both worlds, but yeah, Phantom Menace definitely um, was a period that inspired my imagination, and um, yeah, I thought, what better way than just to do a full month of just showing something Phantom Menace related, they're not going to be long videos, some may be longer than others, um, but yeah, just for the purposes of showing off some Phantom Menace love, um, I've decided to do the Phantom Menace, so we're kicking off today with the VHS tape, so let's spin around and take a look at them. Now, for you younger folk out there, these are what called VHS tapes or videotapes. I know you all know what they are. They're not, they're not that far gone. Um, yeah, this is just the first video for the day, for the month of The Phantom Manus. Which doesn't sound that good when I say Manus. <laughs> the Phantom Manus. <laughs> it doesn't sound that good, but we're rolling with it. It's there. Um, so yeah, I've had this tape in my collection since I was, well, since 2000 when it came out. Um, it has had a fair bit of play. As you can see, I didn't rewind it from the last use. It still has its little security tag on it, which I think I've obviously tried taking off at some point. But those horrible magnetic stickers. But yeah, I obviously didn't rewind. I'd love to put this in a VHS player and see what I was up to last time I watched it. The yeah, running time, 130 minutes approximately. You know, I think this is it's. I think it's still in good shape. But like I said, it did get a fair bit of playtime when I was younger. But yeah, this is the classic gold, gold box. And at the back, you know, this is the 4.3 pan and scan version. And then uh, the widescreen, this one came later. This one I actually haven't physically watched. Um, but it's nice to have. It's nice to have both versions, the widescreen. I probably would have preferred this back in the day. It sort of shows a bit more of the picture rather than, you know, the whole pan and scan. It just... Now this one looks like it was re rewinded last time it was viewed. I think I picked this up on second hand. Um, I'm not sure where... But I like the sticker on the on the tape there. It looks good. Oh, and the other, did the other one have that? I didn't look. Yes, it does. That's sort of the thing I like in here. We've got... Look inside for cool Star Wars values. <laughs> these came with most of these tapes. So this one just sort of stays in here. Yeah, just a little catalogue of... Toys and collectibles, play sets, Jedi Master points. This is the vehicles, vehicle collection. Little micro machines style play sets. The Jedi Episode 1 power battles. Never did play that. There's some of the very first Lego Technic and Lego Star Wars sets. Another pit droid, Slave One. And look how blocky it is in comparison to today's sets. The A-Wing, Gungan Patrol, Battle Droid. So cool. And yeah, there's a uh, there's a couple of books we'll be looking at throughout the month. So stay tuned. So there we have the VHS tapes from year 2000. These were released. Obviously, May was the film release in cinemas. 
We've got the VHS tapes here from year 2000. Thanks for checking out. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Phantom Menace.